Hello my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. It is an honor, a blessing to have you here with me. I have tremendous gratitude in my heart for the moment that we're gonna share together for this intuitive message and the others that are to come. Um, last night, early into the morning and also earlier today, um, which it kind of feels like earlier right now but it's actually not as early as I think I, I, I feel like it is it's two o'clock in the afternoon so time flies when you're having fun either way I received a few downloads I think three in total but I can't remember the third but there's two specifically that I wanted to share with you guys the first one that I wanted to share with you is this vision that I had that I am absolutely in love with right so basically I heard from the ancestors, right? So I understand that we all have separate ancestors because we all have different ancestry. Like our family lineage and our family lines extends in different directions, right? Um, however, in this vision, I saw the ancestors as a collective and they wanted to be referred to as the ancestors or the ancestry. Basically, they were a group of older folk and they were all showing up regardless of our cultural backgrounds or regardless of what we've lived through what we've done um, or what they've done they're there they wanted to emphasize the fact that they all had a common denominator which was the fact that you know every single one of us regardless of our extreme differences we our ancestors and they're all showing up as one big collective that they have one commonality like they have one thing in common and it's the fact that they've all struggled now those struggles look different and those struggles may vary in extremes but at the end of the day um and they may have different origins or reasons why the struggle was there d depending on our own individual history but at the end of the day they still want to talk about their struggles and they had the ability to kind of put aside all of those differences and kind of cackle because that's literally the energy the vibe that they were coming through they were all sitting down at this big old kitchen table it was so intimate it was so chill it was so relaxed there was no food that was out it was more like everyone was just kind of sitting and drinking and, and drinking whatever you know like there was no emphasis on like whether whether it was alcohol or tea or coffee or whatever or water it didn't matter they were just all kind of getting together and every single one of our ancestors said in this big like joyful moment um, a specific message and that specific message is let me write it down hold on I, I mean I let me see what it is that I had written down it says be that well let's wait for this helicopter to go over they said be that annoying person that believes anything is possible to be that annoying person that believes anything is possible and as they said that they were cackling honey like to the point where i started laughing because of the level of laughter and truth that came with it they're basically saying that at right now in the future and what is to come for every single one of us individually every single one of us every single one of us individually that means that if you're watching this video and anybody that is that you could ever connect with from here on out anybody that you would ever ever cross paths with this message applies to them this message applies to um whoever that they could ever connect with and you right you are now entering into territory every single one of us globally is entering into territory that you are you are almost forbidden from not thinking this right you be that annoying person that believes that anything is possible there are a few things that come wrapped up in this message right this means that when when i hear the word annoying it feels like something that you have to really stand firm in your own truth that the collective or the group around you or the people around you or the community or even your own beliefs about like what positivity looks like or optimism looks like you there will be a challenge to it there are going to be people and fuck what people think but they're, they're just keeping it real here but there's going to be moments or circumstances where it doesn't it's almost annoying the fact that you would think of a positive outcome for this that you can think that anything can happen in a good way that there could be a, a positive turn of events and circumstances i don't know if it's because 
okay so as i was saying that i just heard i just heard that our society and our people and the collective and everyone individually has been in labor they've been in active labor kind of like birthing the new self birthing their new they're new like through going through their own healing going through their own trials and tribulations and every single one of us had again bringing back to the ancestors different those trials and tribulations look different not only for those who have come but also you here now present right so your trials and tribulations might have actually come through like finances where you might have struggled or there might be lack mentality or there might be not not enough opportunity or abundance or the way that you look might might um, tie off certain op um, oppor opportunities or certain levels to advance or there's like a glass ceiling or whatever the case is right so you've had to like labor through that you might have to labor through your faith guys just so you know I have chickens and it turns out that Penelope laid an egg in that bush back there she never does that but she did that this morning or recently so she, when I came out, Nova sent, picked up the scent that she was in that bush and she chased her out of that bush. So now Penelope is trying to get back to that egg. So if you hear her clucking, which I'm sure you can hear her clucking right now, it's because she doesn't like the dog being so close to her egg and she wants to get back to that egg, which tells me that that egg is probably fertilized, which don't you dare, down. Leave her alone, dog mom down I'm probably gonna have chicks um in the fall Yay! okay that's sorry guys side note also I'm outside so there's gonna be a lot of distractions and I have animals and you know those animals be doing things they just be living their life um, which can sometimes be a nuisance down when I'm filming okay so back to what it was I was saying, um, for the majority of uh, every single one of us, it was like this emphasis on like every single one of us have been going through some some type of labor, labor pains. And now that you have birthed it, like there's this emphasis on the fact that whatever it was has been birthed and it was the struggle. It was the lessons that you had to learn or what you had to labor past. And there's this, now I'm saying it, there's this emphasis on equality that not everybody has equal circumstances. Not everybody, like we know that, but they're, they're really wanting to emphasize the inequality that happens, right? So for example, let's say someone is born with two parents that love them and then another person is born with two parents that don't love them and they have to kind of, so, so every one of our, every one, of, down, down every one of our circumstances is going to look different and th that is a part of the labor that is a part of the labor i think in my next video i'm gonna go inside <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful out so i just wanted to enjoy it anyways guys um so they're talking about um you know individual labor pains from not only you here in the present now but also your ancestors the next thing that I want to say about being that annoying person or that the loaded message that comes with that is the fact that like there's going to be there's clearly going to be some hesitation or some I don't want to say backlash but a pushback on you feeling the need or you feeling in your spirit the sense of optimism and positivity. I do get a strong sense that this pushback is not going to exclusively come from external circumstances. It's also going to come a lot from internal circumstances. That's going to be a big problem because I feel like you who are listening now, you're the type of person that maybe the rest of the world could tell you something, but you have enough know-how and you've been through enough that if the rest of the world is telling you something that you would just be like, I, I mean... I'll, maybe I'll take that into consideration but at the end of the day, like I'm going to do what's right for me. So it's not like you're so impacted by the rest of the world. The problem is, is like your own internal dialogue is going to kind of push you back and say it is not safe for you to be optimistic. It is not safe for you to be positive. And you almost look at in judgment that side of you, that positive side of you that pops up like a little Muppet. I don't know why that's the vision that's coming through, but it kind of pops up like a Muppet and says, everything's going to be great. Everything's going to work out because the cynical side of you and the side of you that has grown through a lot and experienced a lot of trauma, whether it be bullying, whether it be 
poverty, whether it be being cheated on, whether it be scandal, whether it be whatever the case is, that side of you is gonna come forward and really wanna push that person down. Push that, that voice down and say, shut the fuck up. Last time you were positive about this, you ended up being the stupid one. We are never gonna live through that again. And so the ancestors are saying that that is survival mode and they acknowledge the fact and divine has full our full back in saying this right they acknowledge the fact that um that that was survival and that was a part of the birthing but now that you've birthed it it's almost like are you birthed through this or you've labored through this now you have to get back to that point and you have to give yourself the the largest part of you give that side of you permission to be optimistic and to be positive again that leads me to the next part of this loaded message, guys, because this is why I love being able to sh talk about these intuitive messages, and I noticed that ever since I was a kid, that if I had a dream, or if I had a vision or a prophecy, or whatever the case is, I would understand what it meant for the most part when I received it, but the more that I would talk about it, the more that I could literally talk about, like it would come in in a half second, but if I talked about it, that half second would turn into like a 30 minute pro prophetic vision, right? So this is why I love my YouTube channel because not only is it good for me to share these messages with you guys, but it also helps me to unpack everything and understand everything that it is that I saw. So moving forward, the next thing that came with that is the fact that, this is the big part, the fact that you, the ancestors are showing up in this way and the fact that this is the message means that now, don't you dare, Nova, chaos, down, you are a troll, come here, bring it, you are a troll, down. What's crazy is that she actually helps me reel them in at night, but she's still a puppy, so she's learning how to not reel them in during the day when they come this way. Sorry, guys. I promise you, every single one of my animals is very well taken care of, but you can't tell with my mom dog, my dog mom voice. Don't you dare. Chaos. Back to what it was. <laughs> Back to what it was that I was saying. So the fact that now they're showing up, right? And saying, be that, be that. That means that number one, that aspect is within you, right? Or you are coming back to her or him or they. That side of you is within you. But not only is it be that, so this is what you're about to be or this is what you're becoming or this is what is happening right now, but this is what is happening right now. This is literally what is happening right now. What does that mean? That means not tomorrow, not three months ago, not seven years ago. Right now, you are to be that annoying person that believes that anything is possible. If that is where spirit is leading us, this means only one thing. This means that the impossible is not going to happen. It is happening. It is literally happening right now right now in this moment, whenever, wherever, whatever, 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 it's happening right now in this moment. Right now in this moment. That gives me so much joy and this is when the ancestors are like seriously cackling because I feel like there's so many different layers to this message that you're gonna impact. Like the more that you unpack it, the more that you're gonna be like exhilarated. This means that, it, okay, oh my God. I'm, I'm getting like overload right now. Years ago, when I started my YouTube channel, I think it was like five years ago, I'm not sure. I remember I was just talking to a friend about this uh, over dinner, a new friend. And I was just saying like how th the vision came through was like, yo, buckle up. Like we're about to be in for the time of our lives, right? Maybe it was five, maybe seven years ago. I don't know. But I remember that's when the labor pain started to happen and it literally manifested. This was not just in my own life, which is we're gonna talk about that in a separate video, but this was collectively across the world, across, across the globe, we were about to just get shot right through this roller coaster of experiences and everything was so peaceful back then and everything literally started taking off, right? It was my first video that I ever posted on YouTube, on, on the YouTube platform, and I knew that I was gonna show up. Years later, now, now, in this moment, Spirit is coming through and saying, now be that annoying person that believes anything is possible. This means that regardless of anything that could happen, that was then, this is now. This means that you're about to enter into territory where the impossible 
can happen and not in a bad way but in a positive way in a way that's optimistic in a way that you're not gonna have to labor through it anymore there is a blessing there is a gift there is a breakthrough there is and it's like literally in our fingertips in our hands in our in our energy if that is the case being that right now means that you're gonna become the embodiment of it which means that you instantly connect and align with the energy of whatever it is that you're about to receive it wasn't back then my love because whatever it is that you went through, whether you're able to understand it or not, and I hate calling bad things lessons, but sometimes that's what they are, but whatever it was that you had to live through in order to get you there did serve a purpose, whether that be a testimony, whether that be a lesson that you have to learn. I know in my life, I had to learn so many freaking lessons. We'll talk about that in the next video, but either way, the majority is, is that the, the impossible, anything can happen, be optimistic, be that person that believe it, means that you're gonna be that person that receives it. I hope this message meets you at the right time and I have no doubt in my mind that it will. Um, I do want you guys to kind of relive through not your past traumas, but the optimi like re relive back to that moment where you were optimistic, where you did believe. And if you have never fear, if you've never experienced that or felt that feeling before, get ready to feel that now. Because it's really giving me like Muppet Sesame Street vibes where you watch the kids, the cartoons, and they're just like, you're doing a great job. It's just like, as a child, you believe that. I'm doing a great job. Like, what did you do that day? I don't know, you ate some corn. You ate a chicken nugget, those dino nuggets. You had some applesauce. But whatever it is that you did, you did a great job. For whatever it is, spirit believes that whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing a great job. You're doing a phenomenal job, and it's safe, and it's time now for you to be optimistic about the events that are to play in the future to come. Not only in your individual life, but also all over the globe, which is such a relief. Such a relief. All right, guys. I don't know if I'm going to share my next vision that I received with you guys in this video, or... No, no, no. I'm definitely not going to do it in this video, but I don't know if I'm going to do it here outside in the elements because it seems like the chicken community, my chicken girls, my chicken community has kind of calmed down a little bit and my dog is distracted by a stick. We'll see. Um, or if I'm going to bring it inside, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm sending you guys all my love. Let me know down in the comments how you're feeling about this. And um, also, when's your birthday? Just asking. Okay, bye. Created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.